All right, guys. I'm Rick. I'm back again, and this time we're watching Buster Keaton's The Navigator, which came out October 13th of, of 1924. It's the story of, of the film concerns Buster. He wants to marry his girl, girlfriend. Uh, asks for marriage. She doesn't want to. He gets depressed, goes on a ship, gets on the wrong ship, ends up adrift, and Lois went over to him. She gets on the ship too, trying to get some papers before the ship was sold for her father. So then you get some hijinks. Uh, you, you get a really cool chase scenes where they, they know somebody's on the ship, but they don't know who it is, and they trying to find each other. That's a really cool scene. Some great underwater shots with Buster, which was neat how they filmed it from the production standpoint. Uh, it was filmed in a swimming pool, but when they cracked the pool liner, they ended up having to swim in Lake Tahoe, and they drank a lot of bourbon to stay warm working on that. Uh, as far as the Navigator itself, it was a ship that was scheduled for destruction, and uh, one of Buster's cohorts had far out about it, told him about it. So they put a 60-man crew, they renamed the ship the Navigator, and they had their way with it. Uh, t 10 or 12 of those could sell the ship so they could actually take it out in the water with no problem. Uh, it's a great scene fighting some cannibals at the end. Uh, a lot of fun with that. You know, as only Buster can. Uh, so with some great use with fireworks and some other stuff. I mean, great underwater shots. Uh, just, I mean, it's just a really good film. And you don't hear a lot of people talk about this one. It was considered to be his personal favorite film. Uh, it, decent, uh, decent amount of money. It budget of three hundred eighty-five thousand. It made six hundred eighty thousand four hundred six dollars. Went a little bit over budget because of those underwater scenes, but it was still incredibly well received, and everyone enjoyed it during that time frame. Uh, if I had any complaints about it, I would have loved more of some of Buster's great stunts. But there's still some stuff in there, but it's nothing like uh, like you'd see in Sherlock Jr. But but they're completely different films. But production value, absolutely amazing. Uh, I did read where the director that he had hired to work with him on the film uh, didn't him and him, they didn't really mesh. And he told him the production was done just to get rid of him, and then he took over and filmed the stuff the way he wanted to film it. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. It's, uh, let's see if I got this time on here. Give me just a moment. About 70 minutes, if I remember correctly. Might be a little bit off on that one. I, I can't, unfortunately, it doesn't tell. It gives the double feature time. But, a good collection. Sherlock Jr. and Navigator. Navigator's in a good film. All right, guys, take care. And as always, go watch a movie, and I will link a the restoration trailer down below so you can see it.